Sometimes they would ask for it uh, by what they thought was its name um, at concerts that we would give. Um, and what I mean by that is, so, so the actual title of the song, uh, it comes at the end of the first uh, and third choruses and, and, and is even repeated, you know, as is often the case. <laughs> but what seemed to stick in people's minds was the word angel which is uttered twice during, during the course of the lyric. You know, which puts it in probably a fairly solid second place. Not even course. repeated, just uttered. Barely said, just uttered. It's uttered. Uttered with pitch. Um, angel. So people would start asking it by name. Angel song, play the angel song. Please. Please, Nickel Quick, will you play the angel song? <laughs> uh, which, again, intensely gratifying. Um, 
It's also gratifying. It's also gratifying that Oliver Twist was at our. That was pretty rad. Usually we, we don't like to, we don't like to call out, you know, notable members of our audiences over the years, but that was pretty good one. That was uh, fairly memorable. Please, uh, play the angel song. It's nice to know that he's had his share of porridge over the years. He's not as good with porridge anymore. He's, he's moved on. He's had his fill, which is good. He's, he's had enough. That's true. That's true. Now he's doesn't now need he's, more porridge. Agent for some country music, y'all. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, after after six and a half years, we realized that we really should just kind of do away with the proper title of the song and and just just completely give in. It's on the set list now as Angel Song. Please enjoy it. <laughs> I'll still be there when you come 
something in um, what I'm now calling the bitter bank for the rainy day when you are feeling pretty pretty bitter at someone you can really you know put yourself into a song like this I'm, I'm feeling extremely happy right now because of all of you all so I'm gonna have to get myself into character Sean's a method singer <laughs> Oh, sometimes it takes a little extra. I <laughs> <laughs> <That> did it. Thank you. 
That should progress as well, of course, in the life of a band. Uh, we started with one of our, one of our, uh, one of our greatest achievements, instrumental title-wise. That's a song called "Scotch and Chocolate." Pretty, pretty solid title. Very solid. You realize that, that we're not, we don't have the luxury of drawing on repeated words like "angel." That's right. In songs like that. You have to just make it up. You have to figure it out. Right. A lot of them, yeah, you gotta, you gotta read it. Yeah. Okay. But there ain't no words to read. That's true. <clears throat> That's true. You can take the classical approach, you know, if there's like a particularly high amount of, say, D or something. Sure, but then you got you limitations. You say symphony in D. Yeah. Well, that's kind of like Angel Song. <laughs> uh, but, um, <clears throat> after that, after Scotch and Chocolate, we, we really, we, we, we kind of, we wanted to show you, you know, make sure that the, the bone, the, we want to show you the skeletons in the closet. Smoothie song. Thank you. You're kind. But that, that time, I'm that, I'm two thumbs down on that time. That's, and that's my fault, that's my song. And I, uh, while I wasn't 100% responsible for naming it, uh, I mean, the you know, shots there had nothing to do with it. Don't, don't worry about that. It was, it was actually, it was a crowd. It wasn't you guys. It was a crowd. You guys are very nice. You guys are great. <laughs> you would never. You would make, never. You never make us write a tune called or name a tune smoothie song. Yeah, you would never do it. But anyway, two thumbs down on that one. Uh, after that, um, Ode to a Butterfly. I mean, you were like 
17 yeah. when you wrote it, right? 16? Yes, but I was still male. <laughs> You know. I, I, I hear you. I'm fine with it now. Yeah, I'm fine with it.